Hola amores, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Christina, aka Tu Vecina Favorita Camaquilla. And in this video, I will be um, talking about the um, subject of finding love abroad, looking overseas to find the love of your life. So um, if any of you guys are familiar with the show 90 Day Fiance, um, I'm a big fan of the show. This past season, I didn't really watch it because I wasn't that interested in the couples, but the season before that and uh, one before that, I was really into it. So if you guys have been following the show, you guys remember Pedro and Chantel and Luis and Molly. And I bring both of them up because both of the men and those couples were Dominican. So um, Pedro and Chantel, I do believe they were genuinely in love. And or they had like real feelings for each other, but they let the family get too much in the way. And then Molly and Luis... You got this 20-something-year-old guy from Dominican that was working in, like, a tourist area. And then you have this older white woman, like, come on. You all know daggone well what that man was after. Now, disclaimer. This video is not to criticize anyone that is in this type of situation where they're looking for love overseas. Nor is it to criticize people that are on the other end in these other countries or I don't want to make it seem like all they want is papers or you know Dominican people in DR especially Dominican men I have much love for my Dominican men okay los hombres dominicanos son unos hombres bello okay esos hombres color de miel de canela de chocolate hasta lo blanquito okay los hombres dominicanos aunque algunos son unos cueros but la mayoría son unos son unos hombres trabajadores okay unos hombres que you know son de familia so I got much love for you guys but when it comes to trying to find love in another country or like in my case I have been told why don't you go find a man in DR and just bring him over here and I'm like hmm I feel like in the back of my mind I would just I would just always have that doubt like are you really with me for me or because you want to come here are you looking for papers or are you really looking for love like I feel like that would just always be in the back of my mind and so most of the people in my family have done this though all of my aunts and uncles well some of them were already married before they came here some of them still found their spouses in dr and brought them over but basically all of my cousins that live in this area that are around my age they have all found their spouses in dr and brought them over so some of them brought them over as fiancés like on the k1 visa like on the show some of them brought them over as spouses. Like they got married in the yard and then brought them over here. Even my younger sister, she found her man in Santo Domingo. She made him get the K-1 visa. She brought him over here and now she's pregnant with twins. So, you know, they're starting their family. And from what I've seen, they've all actually had really good luck with it. You know, they, they all seem to be happy with their spouses, you know. A few of them were girls, of my, of like from my cousins. A few were boys. They brought the men. They brought the women. They're chilling. But for me, I don't know. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to really go through all that. Because I'm like, well, what are the cost of having to bring them over? And then I'm like, what if they don't speak English? And granted, I speak Spanish, fluent Spanish. But I feel like in certain situations I, I need to speak to you in english like if i want to cuss you out because you piss me off i want to cuss you out in english you know but and then i'm like i don't know like i already have so much on my plate like you know i have the, my two daughters i have you know a mortgage i have to pay so i feel like it would kind of be an extra added financial burden also having to bring a man over here that wouldn't be able to work until he gets his green card and all that like i just I don't know. I don't know. And it's like a re... And it's something like... Like I said, people in my family keep telling me, like, if you don't find a man over here, just go to DR. And my mom was like, uh, es un esposo, un esposo seguro, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, of course, any American girl could easily go to DR and find a man like that. And they're like, well, I mean, it's not like you ugly or a guy couldn't genuinely like you. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm sure, you know. Uh, but, but still, I feel like... When it comes to people over there, it's just hard for me to not think or be somewhat skeptical and be like, you low-key want papers for to come over here. And I think part of that is 
due to the misconception that people over there still have that the U.S. is made of gold and the U.S. is the best thing ever, blah, blah, blah. And after a few years, all my family, all my cousins, my aunts, my uncles have come over here. They all say the same thing. You come to this country to work, work, work. Even, I mean, in DR, granted, you have to work too. But I don't know. I feel like life is just more laid back, you know. And so when time goes, when it, when the time comes to, you know, go visit DR and take a vacation, they're like so happy to go back and get, get up out of here, you know. So... So I don't know, I just feel like it's it's a bit of a tricky situation because you never, never fully know the intentions of the person you get with. And you know, it's not even these online, overseas, foreign country dating type of situations. Even meeting a person that lives in your same town, you never really know someone's intentions. And you know, I would have that fear in the back of my mind, like, oh, you come over here you know, I bring you over and we get married and then I don't know, maybe you decide you don't want to be with me anymore at some point or I don't know, whatever happens and then you leave me and then I wasted all that time and money for nothing. But again, that could happen with anyone here. So I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like for me, um, I wouldn't mind being with like someone from another country. Um... You know, especially someone from DR, someone that I know already shares the same culture and customs and food and dance and language as me. Like, sure, why not? But at the same time, I just feel like it would just be easier to find someone here. Or if I did get with a Dominican, one that's already here in the States. I mean, at the end of the day, I think my family or most people that know me, they figure by now i'm either going to end up with a dominican here or an african-american because my um my kids's father may he rest in peace he was dominican and panamanian but he repped dr more than anything and then the couple boyfriends that i'd had before him they were a mix of dominican and african-american so they're like all right well, christina's probably gonna end up with a dominican or a black guy it's gonna be one or the other if it's a black guy or whatever nobody would really be surprised you know, at the end of the day, regardless of what your culture or your ethnicity is, I feel like as long as you can get down with me and my family and, you know, you can't eat our food and you you would be all right sitting through like an eight hour kids party till three in the morning, listening to nothing more than, you know, bachata, merengue, perico de piao, dembo, and you good, then we good. And you got to know how to dance bachata. That's like a a must, okay? I can't have you out here embarrassing me, look up retarded, dancing bachata. Like, I'm going to need you to get it together. And contrary to popular belief, there are actually some Dominicans that don't know how to dance. They're like, they're a rare breed, but when I come across them, I'm like, what? <laughs> you don't know how to dance bachata? You, not even merengue? Merengue is like the easiest thing to dance. I'm sure they can do the little one, two, one, two, but they just look off. So, ugh, I, I can't have that in my life. I'm sorry. I need to do that can dance. But yeah, like, I don't I don't discriminate, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm open to either or. Would I date a white guy? Mm, probably not. No offense to any white dudes out there. Would I date an Asian dude? Mm, probably not. No offense to any Asian dudes over there. You know, I like my melanated peoples you know whether you're hispanic or not or african-american you know i like i like to, to be a little melanin on the skin and you know so yeah um but going back to the whole finding love overseas again i've seen it work actually more times than not all of my cousins my little sister they've all done this and they all had really good luck with it relationships and you know having kids buying houses apartments i'm like okay i see you so again i'm not knocking it at all it, it works for some people it really does um but i just don't know if it would work for me and it was so funny is after my you know my kids' father passed away i had these dudes coming out the woodwork messaging me not only here but in dr as well because i still have a lot of family over there and you know friends that i've made through my family members over there that i have like on facebook and stuff and out of nowhere these dudes i mean first it would be like oh i'm sorry for what happened blah 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 but then they hit me with the Tú sabes que yo siempre te he querido, tú eres bella, blah, blah, blah. Basically telling me, like, you know, I've always liked you. You know, you're beautiful. This and that. I was like, 
y'all are the worst. Like, y'all wasn't checking for me like that. Well, maybe you were. I don't know. But don't tell me that you always love me and blah, blah, blah. Like, no me me gusta cotorra, okay? Um, I don't, like, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not interested. I'm not. But anyways, yeah, that is my opinion on the matter. Again, you can find love in any place. For some people, the loves of their lives are in another country. For some, he may be down the street. For me, it is to be determined. Like, yeah, T TBD, TBD. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other um, Let's Chat style videos. If you want to see the tutorial for this look, I just did a... Um, uh, get ready with me style video but it was a, like a let's jam type of video so i did it you know dancing or singing along to some of my favorite 90s r&b songs so if you guys want to check that out go ahead and check that out don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i'll see you all in the next video bye